Well, 2015 is a very exciting year for us because we are going to change homes and become resident uh, orchestra of the new Philharmonie. Um, it is uh, like all the change is exciting in one hand and a little bit uh, scary on one hand because of the unknowns, but we are looking forward to it and it should be a, a, a very important new beginning for the orchestra, but also the city of Paris and the cultural life in Paris. Orchestra Paris is going to be, first of all, the orchestra in residence. So that means without um, sounding overly grand, the, the, the building was um, created with an orchestra de Paris as a resident orchestra in mind. So, so the one understanding that we, uh, and that, that, that for me seems to be logical, is that the orchestra de Paris needs to continue the mission that they have been on for all their life and all their existence, which is creating symphonic um, concerts. What we have tried to do is to, to continue with the type of basic outlines that we have done so far, because they are close to my heart, close to my personality. We will continue and finish the cycle, recording the cycle of Sibelius symphonies, which will be the first cycle, the Sibelius um, symphonies that has been recorded by this orchestra. We will have a very, very strong influence and uh, uh, emphasis on, on, on French music. We will have some of the world premieres, including Dalbavi and, and of course, many, many well-known French, French uh, compositions and French soloists. Um, but we also have to try and discover what is the personality of the new audience. I hope that our current audience will follow us to this uh, new Philharmonie, but I know that there will be also, because of the location, a new audience that, that we need to connect with. I also feel that we might be projecting our own fears and our own um, attitudes about what's difficult and what's not difficult uh, on a potentially new audience that might not see it at all in the same way. For example, if we think that Vivaldi is very popular or Haydn is very easy to listen to, it might be very boring for somebody who, who has never been to a concert hall. Maybe Stravinsky, Rite of Spring would be much more much more fun to listen to, or maybe Turanga Lila Symphony would be much more impressive for an audience who doesn't have the preconceived ideas of what's difficult and what's not difficult. I like the idea of, of bringing the audience is to see our our working process because the rehearsals are an entirely different process and for a lot of audience they feel like orchestra comes on stage everybody's well dressed and we just play music and they never see the hard work that goes into it and the sp specific type of um, uh, process that that um, we basically live with all the time and I think it might open a little bit of a new aspect about how the orchestra works together and what is the, the, the process that brings the final result as a concert into life. Mm -hmm. 